All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you a little bit about the wet paint brush in Art Studio Pro and the settings that I like to use for that brush. So a little bit about the wet paint brush. First, I'm going to show you, I'm going to use this hard glaze brush and just use the regular paint brush. And you see I have this sort of pastel green chosen as my color now. You see if I paint with it, it's all just this solid color that I've selected. Now, if I switch over and use the same brush with the wet paint brush, you can see, see if I can get a nice clear place where it's doing this. You can see it's very subtle, but there's some places where the background color, this darker green, is sort of coming in and influencing the color of the brush that I'm using. So that's the default settings, and I'm sure there's a bunch of really cool stuff you can do with those settings, but I actually use this brush in a little bit different way. This is something that I learned from Steve Forster. I took a really great digital portrait painting class with him. And I really credit it with getting me over a sort of hump with digital painting, where I'm finally confident about it and happy with the results that I'm getting. And definitely recommend the class. And the uh, one of the keys to this approach is the setup for the wet paintbrush. So once again, if I have this sort of green color, you see, still see the green, but it gets influenced by the background. I'm actually gonna go ahead and change the settings for this particular brush away from the default. And if you wanna edit a brush, you just tap the brush right next to the color. That brings up the brushes palette. And then you tap the brush that's already selected the hard glaze one that I want to show you. If you just tap it again, you'll see the brush settings. Now, the one we're interested in is the wetness settings right here. And if you scroll down a little bit, you can see there's these four percentages that determine how the wet paintbrush is going to behave. The default will look something like this for most of the brushes. But if you go ahead actually and change the first one, the wetness to 100 and set the other three actually down to zero and hit save, the brush is gonna behave a little bit differently. Let's see if I brush now it's actually ignoring the pastel green color that I chose. And, you know, even if I choose, you know, this intense magenta, it's actually not using that at all. So it completely ignores the color that you've chosen and gets all of its color from the background, what you've already painted before. And it's kind of like the rubber stamp tool in Photoshop, but it becomes your brush wherever you start the brush stroke is the sort of brush, the colors that you'll be painting with, with that brush. Now, this lets you do some interesting things. The first thing it does is, let's say I have a really hard brush like this one I can use this to adjust the edges of this drawing. I just block this apple in super quickly, not happy with the edges, and even the drawing, I think, needs a bunch of fixing. So you can sort of adjust the edges with this brush. And it's with a harder brush, it's really easy to make the edges a lot harder. If you use, you know, sort of soft pressure you can soften the edges as well, even with a hard brush, or you can switch over to a softer brush and really 
get in here and soften up the edges with this wet paint brush with this kind of settings. Another really cool thing is, you know, say I went a little overboard here, I'm actually doing all of this wet paint brush stuff right now on a separate layer. And I can actually just go back and say I overdid it here a little bit. I can just erase back to what was underneath there. So that's sort of the first thing you can do with the wet paint brush is adjust the edges and correct the drawing a little bit. But where things get really fun is if you use a brush with a lot of texture, you can start getting some really fun things happening. Oops, I'm on the eraser. Let me just get back to the wet paint brush. I'm gonna use this bristle glaze brush and you'll see, I'll make it a little bigger so you can see what's going on. You'll see you can get some really fun things starting to happen here. And I'm just gonna adjust, and again, it's all using what's underneath what I did before as sort of a base. And I can just lay this stuff in and adjust, still adjusting the edges, but now we're introducing a lot more texture into this. You get some really fun things happening here. I'll switch to just a slightly different brush, this bristle rotate one and see what kind of fun things we can get happening with this. And again, because I'm doing this on a separate layer, let's say that I felt like I went a little too far. I can always erase it out completely, or sometimes I think it's fun to leave a little bit of your mistakes there. They're still gonna add some texture. And you can see Already it's starting to look a lot more fun. I'm just gonna clean up the silhouette with this big brush out here that clean up the edges. Ooh, I keep doing that, still on the eraser. So I'll use this one here and just make the edges of this whole thing a little more fun. Some of these accidents, this is some way digitally that you're actually gonna get some of the happy accidents you'll get with natural media. And you know, you can really play around with this now because again, you have the safety of, if you're doing it on a separate layer, you can always, if you, if you went too crazy, you can always knock it back by erasing it. So I'm just gonna clean up the drawing a little bit here. And I liked that that edge was a little broken, so I'm gonna re-break that one here and maybe knock that highlight back a little bit. But you can see, again, since I've done this all on a separate layer, you can see if I switch the layer on and off, you can see just really quickly add a lot more life and interest to this, a lot more texture, this sort of painterly feel. Feel does not have to be painterly. It really depends on which brushes you use with the wet paint brush, but it's really easy to get a painterly look using this thing. So check this out, see if you like it, play with all different kinds of brushes with it. You can really have fun. Again, if you're just using separate layers, you always have the safety of just deleting the layer if you really screwed it up or just erasing out the part that you don't like. And you can really have a lot of freedom and a lot of fun this way. So I hope you find this valuable and have a great day.